Hello friends, this is Dr. Satya Tripathi. In this video, I'll show you how to select atomic coordinates for red bell refinement of X-ray diffraction data of single phase samples, doped samples, solid solutions, or multi-phase samples. In the present example, I have taken XRD data for solid solution of bismuth ferrite with gadolinium manganite. Basically, literature show that bismuth ferrite is a peroxide type ABO3 rhombohedral structure. A site bismuth is there, B site iron is there, and cation is the oxygen. So, whenever we prepare the solid solution as per the cation and anionic sites consideration, gadolinium will go to the bismuth site and manganese will go to the iron site. Bismuth has a 6s2 lone pair and the substitution of gadolinium will basically switch off that activity which will introduce a chemical pressure but the substitution of manganese will not influence the structure a lot okay so now let me show you the structure okay so in the present case we have taken the x-ray diffraction data in the range 0 0.0 to 0 0.02 and the steps are very slow it's a wide composition range y axis intensity x axis 2 theta you can see that with increasing in composition from 0 0.0 to 0 0.075 the structure the xrd pattern they look similar okay after 0 0.01 new peaks they basically appear and the splitting of the peaks basically occur okay in conclusion i can say that after 0 0.01 there is significant change peak shift peak shape and peak height and peak splitting so which can be seen in the right hand side as a log plot you can see from 0 this is the zone 36 to 42 degree in 2 theta you can see that up to 0 0.075 the structure remain the same because there is a characteristic reflection 113 which basically appear in rtc structure okay and after that you can see that new peaks are appearing and this y axis is a log scale so this is the magnified scale okay so new peaks are appearing so for 0 0.02 0 0.075 we have taken rtc structure and 0 0.01 to 0 0.02 we have taken rtc plus pnma pnma because gadolinium manganite is orthorhombic pnma structure the second phase is appearing clearly after 0 0.01 now let me show you how you have to select the atomic position so as i said from 0 0.0 to 0 0.075 the the substitution of gadolinium manganese do not change the structure xrd patterns are similar so there is a solubility limit here that means structure doesn't change okay and this gadolinium manganese goes to the bismuth site they dissolve there okay but with increasing in composition you can see two are two phases are appearing and uh, this is rhombohedral this is orthorhombic so two types of crystal is there okay one phase is one is r3c phase two is pnma let me show you how to write this part so first go to the substitution part here structure doesn't change so bi gd is there so let me write in last my previous videos i had done the red bull refinement of uh, bismuth ferrite so let me start from there so you go to the refinement then you can see the phase one is there atom is there and you can see three atoms are there and you can add two atoms extra so this is for gadolinium one so this is gadolinium and you can select the same positions as bismuth so this is 0.0, .0 this is 0, .0 this is 0 0.29 you can start the thermal parameter refinement from 0 0.1 and this is from 0 0.1 okay and the next you can take this manganese as one and then mn and whatever the positions available for iron so this is 0 0.0 and this is 0 0.0 and this is 0 0.019 this is 0 0.1 so this is 0 0.1 so this is the way i have introduced the atomic position to the full pro package so let's put okay so okay and let me tell you one thing that um, here this is 6a 6a 18b that means multiplicity you can take three as a one one three like bi1 if you want or three this is like a you know more structure okay and this is like a three dimensional extension okay so next uh, what I have to do uh, for dual phase refinement because this is for next uh, is for dual phase what you need to do you just go to the refinement sorry you need to go to the phase you need to add a phase so this is my GD I mean 
okay then for dual phase refinement after 0 0.075 you go to symmetry you go to space p space n space m space a so automatically it will take the symbols okay then this is done then you go to the contribution of pattern it will be current okay this is fine you can take uh, you can take yeah this one okay you can go okay fine then you can see in the refinement two phases are appearing this one we are doing for the dual phase okay so previous one was for the single phase now for dual phase you can see the profile parameter everything is fine here and you have to for phase two you have to add the profile parameter depending on the crystal so go to the reference um, like gadolinium you can go to like five six seven you know the abc are different alpha beta gamma 90 so based on the literature report you can put the data here and uh, atoms how we are going to select the atom so we are having pnma so let me show you here we are having bismuth iron oxygen manganese then two uh, two um, oxygens are there so let me tell you so this is one two three four five six so let me take like uh, gd then then uh, let me take first this is bismuth bismuth then gd then uh, iron then manganese uh, then oxygen 1 oxygen 2 this is 2 this is 1 so for this values what you need to do uh, let me uh, okay so this is like uh, this is the bismuth one so 0 0.43 0 0.25 0 0.01 so 0 0.43 0 0.25 0 0.01 then 0 0.01 same will be for gadolinium 0 0.43 0 0.25 0 0.01 then for iron manganese it is 0 0 0 so you can put directly 0 0 0 0 0 0, 0. then go uh, here so one oxygen is around 0 0.19 0 0.19 this is 0 0.05 this is 0 0.3 this is uh, second oxygen is 0 0.5 and uh, 0 0.25 then uh, this is 0 0.6 and the types you can put here this is shift bi this is gd this is fe this is mn this is oxygen this is oxygen and for isothermal parameters you can start refinement for 0 0.01 occupancy you can start 0 01 so similarly all the values you need to put so again for this one also So be careful about the uh, negative values during the refinement. That is my suggestions. Okay, so you can put um, okay. This is Mn. So okay, and you can start the refinement by putting the profile parameters. Okay, so the thing is, this is the way we add for uh, single phase refinement. We add like this, and we refine. And for dual phase refinement, we put this kind of coordinates because both the separate phases appear separately, and here the gadolinium will enter into that structure no change in the structure so in conclusion uh, we have uh, we have uh, discussed about this allotropic position selections for uh, dual phase samples or doped samples if you have any comments you can post me in the description box you can post me in the chat box below as well as uh, yeah, you can share subscribe and like my video and uh, uh, thank you for watching this.